frank, honest, truthful. Not words you might use to describe somebody's wedding pictures, at least not in Egypt. Until Fadi Guani showed up and turned wedding photography into photojournalism. It wasn't a good thing for Egypt, but it was a perfect thing for me. And it was also a perfect thing for recent AC graduates, Mahmoud Abdel Majid and Hadil Al Aini, who had Guani photograph their wedding. So he showed us pictures of uh, the past weddings that he did. It was exactly what I was looking for. At an average of $3,000, this is how Guani made their wedding memorable. They want to have a good time, they want to have fun, but they don't want somebody nailing them to the floor so they can just stand straight and take a picture. The way Guani works is that first, he makes friends with guests at the wedding, which then allows him to capture pictures that are full of honest emotions and real situations, no staging at all. It, it takes you back to that moment, because I guess because it's not poses, it takes you back to, I remember standing there next to that person, so it, it's nice, it's touching. <laughs> Convincing people of getting a professional photographer who gets the right shot is a difficult thing because these photographers are expensive. Only a specific class could afford them and they were like, why wasting our memories on stencil shots? I am targeting the educated. Um, people who have the potential of understanding the importance of the wedding photography. And people are willing to go for that. Those who hire Guani as their wedding photographer know that he won't miss a precious moment. Precious not only because he captures the wedding like no one else. And each extra hour of his time costs more money. Now it's reached a point where, I think, where everybody's heard about Fezi and everybody wants Fezi, and then it just, it just depends on whether or not they can afford him. But everybody wants Fezi to come shoot their wedding. If my prices were too affordable for everybody, and I have to get those weddings to sustain, I just won't survive as a regular human being. Now, so many photographers in Egypt have switched to the Guanyin style, as he calls it. This is Nijud Al-Ibrahim, reporting for AUC-TV, Cairo.